Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. The day for the naming of the babies has finally arrived. The ceremony to take place at Mama and Papa's apartment in Hollywood. Just now, Mama and Papa are waiting for Sydney and Sarah to arrive, also waiting for the guests who have been invited. Let's listen as Mama says... Jake, what time is it? Time? <laughs> time to eat. Oh, not yet, Papa. We can't eat until after the babies is named. we got to save some for the people we invited. And what are you going to serve, Mama? Well, first we got cookies, laker, strudel... Some little candy. Mama, we're feeding the whole stage. Don't talk foolish, Papa. we got to have enough to eat. The people will think we are flintskins. Skin flints, Mama, skin flints. Sometimes I don't understand what it is that makes you say the words backwards. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Papa, I think them right. But after I think them, I say them wrong. They just get mixed around on the way out. <laughs> Maybe you should think them wrong and they'd come out right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Papa, tonight I want you to do me a favor. A favor, Mama? Sure, sure, I'll do you a favor. What is it? You will please keep your coat on all evening. But what if it gets warm? You will keep your coat on even if you have to bear and grin it. I don't want you should be running around the house looking like a hodfish. A hod carrier. Bricklayer is what I meant, so you will wear your coat. I'll settle for a vest. The whole suit you'll wear, and that is finally. All oh, right, so we don't get into an argument about the clothes I'm going to wear. I'll wear the vest and the coat. And pants. Yeah, I had that idea in the first place. That's good, Papa, that's good. <sighs> Such a bother. Mm, but one thing I'm glad about. They ain't in New York to have relations hanging around two hours before the party. <laughs> My relations never hung around two hours before the party. Three hours, then. Uh, let's forget about it, Mama. Who's coming? Uh, let me see. There's, uh, there's Mr. Elman, Mr. and Mrs. Enovitz. Well, who are they? They are Mrs. Fink's toyed cousin. He's out here for his health. He retired from business. <laughs> I'll give him Sydney and Harold, and I'll retire myself. No, no, who else? Mm, then there's Mrs. Benstein. Benstein? I never heard of her. Hmm. Jake, there are very many people you never heard of, but they're extinguishing. Uh, existing. They live. Yeah. That still doesn't tell me who Mrs. Benstein is. A fifth cousin from me. A fifth? You keep track of them that close. I got a sixth cousin. Is he coming? No, he's dead. Oh. But why should you invite a fifth cousin? Why shouldn't I, Jake? If you had a fifth cousin, you'd invite him. <laughs> if I had a fifth cousin, I wouldn't even know it. <laughs> I guess you don't know you got a cousin, Mo. Uh, got the... Yeah, here comes Mo again. Mm-hmm. Didn't you start talking about mine relations? I said I was going to invite Mrs. Benstein right away. You pack on her. Even before the party, you're making me a nervous Mama, wretch. Mama, please, I'm sitting here quiet, just asking who is coming to the bris. So I'm starting an argument and making you a nervous wreck. Do you want I should keep quiet? Could you do it? Sure, I could do it. Just try it. But I haven't got anything to keep quiet about. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You see, Papa? You are stopping as a mule. And now you should start getting ready. Put on a tie, Papa. All right, all right. Uh, should I wear the black one? The black one you wear every day, almost. Yeah. But this you should wear a different one. Uh. Now hurry up, because soon the people will start to get here, and they'll see you sitting around looking like a cat the canary dragged in. Don't rush me, Mama. Don't rush me. All I got to do is put on a tie. Uh -huh. uh, and the coat. Mm -hmm. uh, and the vest. You forgot the shoes. Yeah, and the shoes. Yeah, so you should start right away. You know, Papa, when you're dressing, you do two things at once. You dress and you dream. Mm. Ten minutes it takes you to tie the tie. Five minutes to put on the coat. Ten minutes to put on the vest. Pretty soon it all adds up to 15 minutes. <laughs> it 
With that kind of arithmetic, I could make money when I paid my bills. Well, I'm not a mathematician. I should be a lightning conductor. Calculator. I can't add. You're telling me. Papa, you're wasting time. Please hurry up, because you're making me very aggravated and nervous. All right, Mama. What time are the people supposed to get here? About 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? <laughs> it's only half past 7. And here in Hollywood, people never get any place on time. Papa, I'm saying you should start to get ready. You've been sitting in that chair all evening. You should be rested by now. Oh, I'm never rested, Mama. When I get home from the studio in the evening, I'm all worn out. Papa, every time I've walked into your office, I see you sitting in the big chair just releasing. So how could you be tired? I worry. I worry about what Sydney and Harold are doing. Then, when I do that, I have to get up and find them. And I can never find them before I've walked ten miles. Then do you find them? Yeah. Always they've got back to my office before I do. I find them sitting there like big shots. Uh -huh. So there's a story with a motto. Stay in your own office. Stay in your... Yeah, all this talk is not tying my tie. And then putting on your shoes, neither. So go ahead, Papa, before everybody gets here, huh? The last time we gave a party, you were still in the bedroom getting dressed. So should I be killed for it? No, but you should have been killed for falling asleep and forgetting about the party. The... All right, all right, so I'll get up. <laughs> I'll get up and get dressed. Yeah. Papa, wear the new suit. <laughs> I got it on. Yeah, you got... Oh, yeah. One day you wear a new suit and it looks like it's gone through the milk. The milk? It looks terrible. You... Mm -hmm. The knees of the pants look like you're going to jump. Straighten up, Papa. I am straight. Inside the pants, my legs are straight. Can I help it what they look like outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have got a suit with two pairs of pants. <sighs> Never mind. I'll press the pants. Take them off, Papa. Go in the bedroom and take them off. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand them to me and I'll press them. You haven't got time. I'll wear them just like they are. I will press them. Honest, Papa, I don't see how you can make a new suit look like an antique in one but day. But you... Now hurry up, Papa, yeah? Huh? Go in the bedroom and take off the pants and I'll go over them once quick with the iron. All right, all right. Oi, oi, the company is here already. It can be. People never come this way. Are you a physical you should see to the door? Uh, I'll bet on it. Then answer the door. <laughs> That's Sidney ringing the bell. Always in a hurry when he is where he wants to be. All right, all right, I'll answer it. If it's company, Papa, jump back quick like you ain't there, so they don't see you looking like a trump. Look, I can't jump in this little hole without killing myself. Hi, Paul. Greetings, Pa. Hello, Sarah, Sydney. Aha, you brought the babies. Sure, yeah. you can't name them without bringing them along. Coochie, 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 coochie. Wash your hands before you do that. Huh? My hands are clean. Oh, gee, Pa, aren't you ready yet? Don't worry about me. Mom always does that. Hello, Ma. Hello, Sarah, darling. Hi, Ma. Uh -huh. let me let me see the little darlings. <laughs> Aren't they cute? The cutest in the world. <laughs> Sydney, that's what every mom and papa says. Uh, which one is the little boy? Oh, Pa, you know the saying, pink for girls and blue for boys. The boys dressed in blue. Uh-huh. Coochie, 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 coochie. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pop, it sounds so funny to hear you say that. Look out. <laughs> Oh, 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 don't poke at them like that, Ma. Uh? The book says you shouldn't tickle them. It makes them nervous and upset. Them. Mama, he's telling us what not to do with babies. Sydney, didn't Mama and me raise her and yet? Don't you think we know what to do? Uh, maybe things is different nowadays, Papa. Huh? Uh, say, Pa, if you're going to be ready by the time the guests get here, you better get dressed. Well, all I got to do is put on my tie. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my coat and uh, my vest. Uh, how about shoes? <laughs> or are you going barefoot this year? <laughs> Am I going... Vice cracks, huh? Never mind, Sydney. I can take care of myself. <laughs> You're going to shave, aren't you? Shave? I shaved this morning. Well, it doesn't look like it, Pa. Well, uh, Papa, maybe you should shave again. I don't want you should look like Robert Crusoe. He was on an island. Looking like you do, you should be on an island, too. Go ahead, Papa, huh? Go in the bedroom, take off the pants, and give them to me, and I'll press them. Hey, look, Rachel's smiling. Huh? See, Ma? Isn't she cute? <laughs> yeah, look, Mama, she's smiling at her again, Papa. <laughs> Just like a little scrub she is. Ma, you mean cherub. Scrub, cherub, she's very cute. Ain't she, Papa? Yeah. Sarah, can I pick her up? Well, well I, the I book start... says not to handle them too much, Sydney, Pa. Sydney, are you raising the babies by a book or by hand? Well, gee, Pa, you know, you've got to do things right. And it's much better to start off right than to get into trouble later. You see, picking the babies up makes them dizzy. Yeah, I'll bet you was picked up plenty when you was a baby. Don't insult Sydney, Papa. Oh, I guess you can hold her paw. It won't hurt, honey. Well, all right, but be careful. You know how to pick her up, don't you, Papa? Oh, I know how to pick her up, he says. Mama, tell him how I used to carry Sarah and Yetta when they was little babies. Sydney, Papa will be very careful so he shouldn't break her. Well, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Such a little love. Come to Zeta, huh? <laughs> oh, watch it, Pa. You're letting your head hang down. <laughs> Sydney, please, let me alone. You scared me. Oh, you too. Now, one hand like this, Pa, see? I see, I see. So I got one hand like that? No, no, you're doing it all wrong, Pa. Look. Like this, see? Sidney, Papa don't want to wrestle. He just wants to pick up the little girl. Oh, gee, my, he's got to do it right. That's right, Pa. Now you've got it. Just like a feather. Yeah. Well, all right, that's enough. Put it down now, But Pa. I just picked it up. I know, but you can't hold them too long. The book says you spoil them that way. Spoil? Is the baby's eggs they should spoil quick? Here, I'll take it, Pa. But I just got it. Well, the book says Sydney. that Sidney, you... I'm going to tell you something. 
To raise Severin, yes, I didn't use a book. I used my hands and my head. So they grew up to be very nice girls. You should know because you married one of them. Yeah, I know, Ma. Here, give it to me, Pa. You can pick up Nathan. I can. What does the book say about that, Sidney? Well, Pa, I don't mean that you shouldn't pick them up or hold them. I just mean that you've got to be careful about such things. Yeah, yeah, things. yeah, 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 careful. Coochie, 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 coochie. <laughs> Look, Mama. Yeah? He's got a hold of my finger. Oh. Isn't that cute? Well, don't let him put your finger in his mouth, Pa. Don't worry, Sidney. He ain't got teeth, so he couldn't bite Papa. Well, I don't mean that uh, he's... Say, Pa, maybe you better be getting ready. It's almost 8 o'clock, and you want to be ready when the guests get oh, there. Oh, that's right. Papa, hurry up. Go in the bedroom, huh? Take off the pants and give them to me so I should press them. Uh, uh, all right, Mama, all right. Who else coming, Ma? Uh, a lot of people I don't even know, so we should have a good time. Well, try to keep Pa from talking about business, will you? Uh -huh. You could just as well keep the sun from going around the moon. <laughs> the sun doesn't go around all the right, moon. Mama, does it? Mama, here are the pants. All right, Papa, all right. Hand them out the door. Well, here they come. I'll tell them. Yeah, uh, Sarah, hook up the electric iron. In the kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> Should I keep the iron in the living room? <gasps> okay, Ma. Oh, Sid, what's the baby? Don't worry, honey. I'm right here. Gucci, gucci, go. Gucci, gucci. Don't tickle the baby, uh, Sidney. The book says so. Oh. The iron's on, Ma. It's getting hot. All right, darling. If the bell rings, answer it. Okay, yeah. Ma. Oh, I wish Pa would hurry. Gee, I hope he shaves. <laughs> I would... Oh, oh Sid. Oh, Ma. Oh, God, what's the matter with Rachel? Oh, I don't know. Oh, we left the book at home. Oh, Ma. 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 Yeah, hey, Ma. Ma. Yeah, move on. over, Sarah. Move over. Oh, come to Grandma, Rachel. Oh, so... She's all right, isn't she, Ma? So... Yeah, everything's all right. There, there, there. What? You see? Oh. <laughs> that ain't in the book. How to make him stop crying. <laughs> and besides that, Mama, oh, tell... Ma, what's burning? Burning? Uh huh. Oui, I left the iron on the seat of Papa's pants. <gasps> Oi, they're burning. Ma, oh. Mama, Becky, where are my pants? Oh, gosh, honey, shall I answer the door? Well, I, I guess I, I did. I want my pants and my iron. You did. Oi, Sarah. Now, a big hole is in the seat. <gasps> oh. The doorbell, they're coming. Mama, oh. Mama, I'll catch cold standing here like this, all naked. Oh, Please, I... Mama, I want my pants. Sydney, Sydney, answer the door, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay, Mama. I, uh, oh. uh, pants. Oh, uh, Papa! Yeah? Papa, you, you'll have to wear the old ones. I want the new pants, Mama. Oh, he wants oh. the new... Uh, Guests are coming in. I got her. Papa, Papa, put on the old pants. The old pants? Mama, are you crazy? All the old suits you sent today to the dry cleaners. Mm -hmm.